Asante sana. Adwa kebu moreaga. Moreaga rege. Kwanza rais mimi ni kukushukuru kwa sababu wakati wale wadosi wengine walikuwa wanatuma watoto wao huko Arusha. Wewe ulichukua kijana hasra wa hapa Kiambu ukampeleka huko Arusha na huko Dodoma. Mimi nakushukuru sana kama rais. Rais kitu ya pili ambayo mimi nataka kukushukuru ni kwa sababu hawa vijana kupitia hasra fanda ambayo umetupatia hawa vijana wameweza kutoka kwa CRB. Na wewe wakati wa campaign ulituambia sisi kama vijana utaweza kututoa kwa CRB kama baba wetu wa taifa. Sisi tunakushukuru sana na tunakuambia tutazidi kutembea na wewe kwa miaka kumi kwa sababu uongozi wako umekuwa uongozi mwema ambao umeweza kutu, uh, kutuongoza kama rais. Asante sana na Mungu akubariki. Niko na Hezron mbunge wetu wa ward ya Riabai, niko na Shogi mbunge wetu wa kutoka hapa Kiambu na niko na Mwaura mtu wetu wa kutoka Tinganga wewe speaker. Wacha speaker aongee dakika moja jamani. Ama huyu MCA angeosema kitu. Tunakupenda, tunakutambua na sisi kutoka bunge letu la Kiambu na county government tutakusupport kama ni hiyo project ya kujenga affordable housing yote your excellency tutajenga kwa heshima kubwa your excellency ningetaka tumpatie host MCA wa hapa mheshimiwa Francis Koina akuje aongee tumpigia makofi kiambue mheshimiwa rais nataka kwanza tumshukuru kwa sababu moja mwezi kama huu ulikuwa ni presidential candidate lakini sasa amerudi hapa akiwa rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Tumpigie ni Mungu makofi bana. Na mheshimiwa rais. Kwa sababu ahadi ni deni. Watu wangu wa Kiambu waliniahidi niandike daftari ambayo uliweza kutuelezea yale maneno ambayo tutofanyia sisi kama wakazi wa Kiambu. Na yote tumenakili na tumekuandikia. Na nataka nikupatie hizi ahadi ikiwa kumbukumbu ya kwamba hizi ahadi utatimiza wakati wa mamlaka yako. Patusalimie ame wana waichito. Moreaga. Moreaga leke. Na nitole howeka na dake na. Boshi blue arais. Siku ile nilichagulua Gavana hapa hakukuwa na stage. Sibidi aliweka hii stage hapo. Alafu nikaweka barabara ingine hapa nyuma ile inapita kwa Catholic, si ndio? Jamu ikaisha hapa. Na nimefurahi sana vile leo rais amesema hii barabara itajengwa dio carriage dio jamu ishe pande hii ya Kiambu. Mheshimiwa rais, hapa karibu na hospitali kuna shamba ya serikali karibu weka kumi. Kuna watu walinyakua na nilikuwa nimeongea na hawa na walikuwa wamekubali kurudisha hapa tu karibu na hospitali hapa nyuma walichukua eka kumi na walikuwa wamekubali kurudisha na sasa hii manyumba wanajakia wananchi kwa sababu hapa Kiambu watu wote wanafurahi sana kwa hii mradi na usitakanywa na mtu mtu akikaa mbele yako kidogo wewe pakia ye kwa sababu hii wananchi walikupigia kura wanakojea wewe uwafanyie kazi hapa kuna kishamba unaweza jenga manyumba hata zaidi ya rubu tano. Hiyo watu waenda nyumba watapiga ile walikula, si ndio? Mwadhani ya Roma Radhima, tade ya mwanaijwe. Mwadhani ya Radhima, thank you. Si. Ndugu yangu bwana wa Matangi, enda unitafutie hiyo shamba. Hiyo imesemekana iko eka kumi hapo. Unilete nijengee hapa mahasala manyumba. Nego Si wa Matangi ndio huyu. Enda tafuta hiyo shamba na mtu akikuletea kizirani uniambie. Eh mimi niko na panga kubwa. Ndawafieka. Sawa sawa. Ama na magani. Watu wa Kiambu tumekubaliana. Tutatembea pamoja. Mimi najua bado mnasema turudi hapa tena, tutarudi tena na tena. Mimi nawapenda sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu na sitaenda muda mrefu nitarudi mwadhani ya muradhime. 
Mungu wabariki jameni na nawapenda sana. Thank you very much. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Thaa ici ciana ci mucini tukuhoya aciari marore ciana ciao wega tondu ciana riria ci mucini cituikaga exposed maundu ini maingi muno na ti andu othe mena kuuja ega kwina aria mangienda kuhuthira ciana ici uru macio ni uhoro wa dawa macio ni uhoro wa johi na turona ciana cingeingira dawa ini na johi ini in future ni tukwaga andu agima aria mekunyitirira bururi na mekunyitirira ona micie itu na nitukuona ciana cihingite cukuru kwina ire imwe ire kagiririo gakora nginya ni ithire video ni ithire irafu kwoguo nitukuhoya aciari menyaga haria mwana waku ari githaa giothe na tutikareke ciana cikare nja utuku muno reke tumenye ati wathi gutuka ciana ciothe igacoka nyumba na turore muno nginya arataonia niguo matika tuike tugakorage mena mitugo tutaramenya marutire ku na edia ajohi irafu ini mutigetekere ciana citakinyetie miaka 18 kuingira irafu icio na tungikora kwina ciana citakinyetie miaka iyo irafu ini icio ni tugushihinga tondu ona wazo dwitikiritie turenda ciana ici cioka mucie cikare na aciari cirutwo mitugo miega ya kimucie ati ona igicoka cukuru o uri arimu mama mama neyanite me ciana njega no guci macoka me ciana njega na tari umuthi turoka twina commissioner wa NCIC kuhiga hafu reno ya debate ici ya Amani Clubs Kenya na turona ate debate ici ni undu wa ciana ira interact na ni undu wa maundu maria marathoma ni marahota gutwika citizens yega makiria ati ona mauma na kuuja aria mitugo miuru tugakorwa na tutire nao na niguo turauga ona hahota gukinya handu cukuru ciothe cia embrace amani clubs kenya hahota gukinya handu ona jera citu ciage wateja ati aria mekuona mathie makura makua na aria mangi mari ke ihingo ciao ni jera tugwika atia tukuhinga ka tucitue mashukuru we as the national cohesion and integration commission in partnership with uh, the Ministry of Education, um, um, the county governments, um, and other stakeholders to make sure that we use whatever is available to use for our peace building and cohesion building. And so the uh, essence of Amani Club is to inculcate um, the uh, culture of peace and cohesion in the young ones so that they can grow with it. Um, so we are not saying that uh, peace work or cohesion work is the preserve of the elderly only. We want to begin from uh, the young ones when they're in school so that they can grow with this idea of Kenya being one uh, people, one nation, one destiny. So that we don't have a country of, uh, of, of different people, of different thinking. Um, uh, uh, so the idea is to bring the minds of our young ones uh, to that destiny that we are headed to. We are headed to a destiny where we are one people, one nation, and uh, all of us are together and uh, one tribe, not many tribes. So that is the idea, uh, so that uh, we, we nurture, uh, inculcate the young ones as early as when they're in school. So that when they grow up, they become peace champions uh, and even teach others about the, the value of peace. Well, it is the mandate and our work that we always encourage dialogue in life. And that's the work we do every day. As a commission, we, we have uh, peace for breakfast, cohesion for lunch, and integration for supper. And that's our work. And therefore, we encourage the leadership, the political leadership of this country to dialogue. And, uh, and we encourage what has now been initiated as um, uh, the bipartisan uh, 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 talks that are going on. 
that is the way to go as a country. Uh, I think uh, we are past uh, throwing stones or hurling tear gas at each other. The country is at a level where we talk. Um, we are a democratic country. Um, we have a very beautiful constitution, the best, one of the best in the world. Um, and as I saw, the, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have very robust and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and very good institutions in place. Uh, and so I don't see Kenyans doing their talking through violence. The best way to do is through dialogue, whatever the issue is. And so as a commission where we stand is the only way out is dialogue. Na kwamba hao wako kwa shule ndio tunashinda tukisema ndio viongozi wa kesho. Na kwa hivyo tunafaa tuonyeshe njia inayofaa ili tuweze kuleta amani. Niseme pia wizara ya elimu hatufanyi kazi kipeke yetu. We are not isolated. Hatufanyi kama kibinafsi kama wizara. Tunashirikiana na wizara nyingi, tunashirikiana na all partners e, ili tuweze kuendelesha mambo ya elimu. Na elimu ambayo tunapea wanafunzi si tu mambo ya kupita hesabu, kupita Kiingereza na Kiswahili. Pia tunahimiza wakuwe na mwelekeo. Tunafanya wapate skills na knowledge ambazo zitawezesha kuwa watu ambao tunaweza kutegemea katika inji yetu hapo kesho so tu, tunaona tunashirikiana na NSIC kwa hii debate club umeona tunashirikiana na ministry of interior madam DCC amekuwa hapa na sisi tunashirikiana na banks tunashirikiana na other partners kama ministry ya health nema club so you find that in the ministry we work with so many partners na hiyo yote ni kwamba tuweze kuweka full education katika eh, wanafunzi wetu watoto wetu ambao tumesema tunawategemea kwa siku ya kesho ukiangalia tumekuwa na saa zingine mambo ya shule kuchomwa na ni kwa sababu maybe wanafunzi hawajui maana ya kuweka amani katika shule kwa sababu akianza kuchoma shule wakiwa shule hata wakiwa pale nje hakuna mtu anataka kuajiri mwanafunzi ambaye anaogopa anaweza pia kuchoma kampuni mzima so ndio unampata vilabu zingine kama hii Amani Club inahimiza na inaweka kwa akili za wanafunzi umana wa amani. Na ume, umepata ukiangalia kama mwaka huu mambo ya school and rest, mambo ya kuchoma shule katika muula wa pili ambao tumemaliza tu huu mwezi wa August imekuwa chini kabisa. Najua kabisa mja, mja report mambo ya kuchoma shule nyingi. Na ni kwa sababu hawa wanafunzi katika hizi vilabu kama Amani Club wamejua the meaning of peace, kuweka amani. Na wameona uma, um, umaana na umuhimu na the benefits of peace. And for us in the Ministry of Education, we really appreciate. Na wito wangu ni kila shule, si katika Moranga peke yake, but kaka, katika all the 47 counties in this country to to encourage peace clubs and other clubs that normally teach our children the right things to do uh, the role of parents in in promoting peace is the they can urge their children to promote peace and the Kenyans at large out there you can start by stopping the uh, demonstrations uh, that are happening they are really affecting our peace especially children and uh, students over here and we like to urge all of us as Kenyans to promote peace. Uh, I would like to, uh, I will show them the ways how to resolve peace through dialogue, negotiation and uh, so that we can have a peaceful coexistence in school and outside of school.